Danny, how you doing, my man? Good things yourself. Really good. How exciting is it to have Dracus shout your name out in an interview and have him know who you are? Did you ever think that would happen? Well, me and Dracus, when I go to the gym, when I go to the gym, uh, I actually train with him. Okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, so I, I actually know him. One of oh, our sponsor, which actually sponsored both of us, um, he's also coming down to Vegas now for the ninth. Imagine that. Amazing, yeah. Well, I mean, South Africa seems to be on the top of the world. You've got one champ now in the UFC. You have another that, that could potentially coming out victorious here, power, number, power stop number six, be in line for a title shot in power slap. Let's talk about a little bit. The entire road, you know, road to the road to the title. Must have been a pretty crazy experience for you, you know, coming in as one of the older guys on the show, you know, getting in there, your first time in America. Has it been, you know, everything you hoped it would be and more? Uh definitely it's 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 uh, it's difficult to explain, but it was well worth it. I mean, you guys look well after us. Um, I felt like a true celebrity there. Uh, the people is nice. Um, it was an experience, definitely. Mm -hmm. Awesome, my man. Let's talk about Makini Manu. You were able to obviously live in the house with him. I'm sure you've had many conversations with him. Going into this match, what have you kind of sized up from him as a competitor? And do you think you can find some areas to exploit? Um, McKinney is definitely going to lose. And I was there when he got coached. He doesn't have a right hand. He lifts his feet. He's got a hell of a left hand. But my neck is stronger from this side. So let's see what happens. Um, he's a super nice guy. He's down to earth. I think we can do proper smack talk together. You, you can see he's got an experience on, on how to talk. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to him. Awesome. Are, are they flying you in early? Do you, and do you think, is there any adjustment that you're going to need? I mean, I know you've only done it once, but with the travel, the jet lag, that, you know, the difference, I believe we're about 11 hours difference from you. Um, do you foresee that being a challenge at all? Um, I would say if you, uh, mixed martial artists, you know, if you're a slap I don't think that would be, that would play any big role in it. But, mm -hmm. um, I, I definitely do not think so. Okay. Yeah. Cause I mean, by the time you get up there on stage here in Las Vegas, um, you know, it's probably going to be around 8 PM. So it's probably about five in the morning for you. So hopefully you're an early bird back home and it'll be like just getting up in the morning and going to the gym. <laughs> you know, here's the thing. We, we fly on Friday. So we roughly fly for two, two days and I land there on Saturday because of the hour delay. But when mm -hmm. I fly back, I fly for two days and then you miss it the day here in South Africa. So you need to, Catch up. You need to take your calendar with. <laughs> totally. Totally. Um, do you think McKinney is going to be the most challenging competitor that you faced yet? Up to today, to date, yes. I yeah. do believe so. He's, I would say he's a tough guy. Mm -hmm. But I believe I'm a tougher guy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, up to today, I would say he's definitely one of the stronger guys. He's, you can see his mindset to this. It's, it's like an uh, inner instinct for him. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this. Absolutely. What have you been doing to train to be able to prepare both mentally and physically for this match? Um, are we exposing this? <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We've got, right. let me just get it. Yeah. No problem. Just give me a second while my, my fiance is doing the cardio. Yeah. But in any case, so guys, stay tuned for how Donny Pitbull from Ireland goes out on training. You're, that's, it's probably going to be exposed, but you're not allowed to tell the newcomers. Okay, so everyone knows the slap. Check the sizes, the thumbs. Check yeah. Proper thumb size. And I'm going to show you now how we train for this. Just give me a second or two. Normal people would go for the neck, neck training and twist and arms and lifting weights and this and mm. that. I actually, I need need a coin for this, but okay, okay. I've been training the coin flip. Yeah. On our last Instagram with Manu, he won the coin to flip flip twice. But I told him I said, okay, I'm used to that. 
<laughs> awesome. See you guys, I'll be doing coin flips. Check <laughs> okay, okay. Check that muscle on the thumb. Strengthen the thumbs. Okay, okay. Check, check, check. Okay, let, let's you. try it out. Heads or tails? What will you go for? We'll Where go ahead. Gone now. We'll go ahead. I'm here. I'm just putting okay. you front and center to give you the spotlight. <laughs> uh, let's see. Heads or tails? We're doing a competition. I'm in training. We'll go ahead. Shit, I lost it again. You see, I'm not good at this. <laughs> I'm not good it. at the coin flip, right? <laughs> well, you never know. If, 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 if you're 0-3 now, the probability can swing in your favor come the real coin toss. <laughs> That's it, Manu. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, my man. That's awesome. Um, you know, I, are, are you like are, are you are you doing anything physically? Are you in the gym? Are you using the bob? You, are you doing anything different, or are you just kind of sitting back? Uh, kind of sitting back and training the coin flip because that's the only thing I lost the last time. So I probably <laughs> need to take that serious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. Um, you know, otherwise, I mean, we we talked about and on our, on our last interview you know, your desire to one day continue, um, you know, with power slap, you know, potentially get out of South Africa to open up opportunities for yourself and your family. Um, do you feel some of that pressure going into this? I know you're a pretty fun, loving, free spirited kind of guy, but, uh, you know, do you feel any additional pressure to be able to provide for the family back home? Actually, I do not. I think it comes with the habit, um, or naturally, Mm -hmm. um i'm normally on the spot type of guy so if you find me now we organize stuff that i can do if mm -hmm. i normally plan stuff up ahead that never works out so <laughs> yeah I, I see it as as easy coming we take it from there and the pressure type of guy sort it out we go yeah 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 um you know ki kind of like seeing some of your other fellow competitors you know in in the house is there anybody that you're excited for whether it be in your division or or any other divisions that you think have a bright future? Well, um, I've met uh, the Buffalo. Uh, I actually like the Buffalo. Well, um, all the all the slap fighters I've met, they're mm -hmm. all nice guys. Uh, I mean, Garrett is is coming to our wedding. McKinney mm -hmm. is going to be the best man there. He's going to be next to me. He's mm -hmm. going to hold the size of the ring. Um, <laughs> it's a mental thing. Um, Cody is coming to the wedding. So I've got a couple of guys. My guys coming to the wedding. Um, mm -hmm. The guys I've met is just they're all nice guys, yeah, really nice guys. I'm 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 looking forward to all of them, even the ones that lost. I'm looking forward to them to come back and see them do it again. Mm -hmm. No, I I definitely I, I hear you. It's going to be interesting. I think I think overall that this this crop of Road to the Title series two athletes, um, you know, as a whole collectively probably have a higher skill set than the first series. I know that's probably gonna be controversial. Um, you know, we, we got some killers at the top from, you know, series one, which I think will continue. So I'm excited to see the mix, to be honest with you. I'm excited to see how, um, you know, these young guys, you know, go up against the old guys. We've talked a lot about yeah. on, on, on our show in different uh, recaps about athleticism versus experience. And, you know, how does that kind of play and play out? And we're going to see it front and center here at Power Slot number six. We've got a great mix of guys, um, you know, that we're going to see that, that, that we know and love from the previous Power Slaps. And we're going to have guys, you know, from the show coming in. But I'm going to ask you, your coaches, Emmanuel Munez and Chris Thomas, being able to see both those guys day in and day out, who do you think has the edge and who's going to win that belt? Munez, Munez got this. Coach? Got your back. I know you got this. Um, I'm looking forward to that. But definitely, I've got uh, Coach Munez. There we go. We got Danny's prediction for Coach Munez in that uh, title matchup. This first time, we're going to have a live audience, Danny. I know you got a big personality. Obviously, last time on the show, we seen you lift up your, your shirt and show your stomach. You know, how much, like... How much do you think that plays into the overall, you know, star potential you could have? I mean, because, you, you know, you're a very likable guy. you got a great personality. Um, you know, in a lot of ways, you're becoming the face of, of you know, power slap and slap fighting in South Africa. I'm sure it's a small pool, but, but uh, you know, there's definitely something there that can be, you know, expanded upon. And do you feel like, you know, someone like yourself and the way that you look at the sport and the way that you're carrying yourself – 
that you have kind of a blueprint or a footprint to be able to be bigger than life, be bigger than you you are, and be able to relate to people? Definitely, I do believe so. Um, I spoke to some of the guys here in South Africa, so um, if we can get a letter from Las Vegas, Nevada Sports Commission, then we might be able to get it sanctioned here in South Africa. So um, I'm looking forward to to get that done. Um, and I do think you need the personality for basically any sports. If, mm-hmm. if you don't have the personality, you dead and boring. No one wants to see that. So mm-hmm. I do believe that comes into count. Um, yeah, and you need to be able to take banter both sides, whether you win, whether you lose. Um, it's definitely a plus. Absolutely. Um, do you have any predictions on how you kind of see this match going? Like, do you think it's going to be done early or do you think it's going to get into the later rounds? Um, I think McKinney is going to lose on points. He will go probably left on three and that one would land. I would eat it. I will go probably right on three. That one would land. I'm sure you would eat it. He would probably go left again or he would switch it up because he knows I underestimate his right hand. If he switches it up, he might lift or twist. Uh, and I think there I might get the extra points. I'm going to go right and right again and then I'm going to win nine points if he's not, if he can take all three. I've only seen guys taking two. Jonathan came back for the third, but he left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, man. man. One last one. If McKinney's watching this interview, what do you want to say to him before the match? McKinney, I remember when we get married the 6th of Feb, you're going to hold my ring. You're going to see the size of my fingers and you're going to go into deep, uh, deep thoughts and you're going to get cold and you won't be able to pull out. This is coming Yeah, McKinney, see you the 9th of Feb. And for the rest of the guys, I hope you got your tickets. If not, you're going to sit in traffic and might miss the whole show. Awesome, my man. Appreciate you joining me. Travel safe. We'll see you there in Las Vegas. Thank you, Monier. Thanks for the chat again. See you there.